Hi, welcome to GeoVision video tutorial. I'm Stephen. The topic today is GVS NVR or standalone NVR. Here is the outline of our video tutorial. Uh, the goal of this video tutorial is uh, we hope to accomplish that you can have a better overall understanding of our SNVRs. Uh, we will start with a brief introduction of the SNVR. Then we'll go through the features of our standalone NVRs. Um, then we will do some live demoing about the SMVR's features. Lastly, we will have an FAQ section uh, which contains our mostly asked questions about our SMVR. At the end, we will have an appendix. The goal of this video tutorial is to help you understand different models of our SMVR and have knowledge on SMVR's restrictions and how to add cameras to our SMVR and how to play back the footage recorded in SMVR. Now on to introduction of our SMVR. The GV SMVR is a standalone device which receives video source from IP cameras and provides live view, playback, and remote services for surveillance purposes. This is the overall network structure of 4-channel SMVR. Uh, the IP cameras and the 4-channel SMVR are in the same LAN. Uh, you can use web browser or mobile devices to view the live video of 4-channel SMVR over WAN. The same scenario applies to 16-channel SMVR as well. Uh, the IP cameras and the 16-channel SMVR are in the same LAN. Uh, you can use web browser, uh, mobile devices, uh, for example, smartphones or tablets uh, to view the live video of 16 channel SMVR as well. Uh, here is the abbreviation of the SMVR model number. Um, the first and second digits stands for the number of ports. Uh, for example, all four stands for four ports and 16 stands for 16 ports. Uh, as for the third and the fourth digits, uh, they are reserved. So the hardware spec of 4-channel SMVR, uh, we can see the front view on the left hand side, uh, the rear view on the right hand side. Uh, we'll start with the front view. Uh, you can see the two USB ports, uh, an audio output, uh, also the indicators for power HDD and HDD error. On the rear view, on the right hand side, uh, you can see the network LAN port, the power plug, uh, HDMI output, and two USB ports. Also, the low default. The detailed spec of 4 channel SMVR is uh, HDMI output only, um, no VGA video output. Uh, you can only install single hard disk on 4-channel SMVR. Uh, max capacity is 4 terabytes. Uh, you can use uh, GV joystick V2 to control the PDZ cameras. Um, only one gigabit LAN port on the back. Uh, no PoE functions. Um, there are four USB ports which you can perform firmware upgrades, uh, import or export settings. Um, save snapshots, uh, export footage to AVI files. Uh, you can also use them for USB keyboard and mouse. Uh, there's a load default button on the back, uh, which you need to hold 10 to 15 seconds to reset uh, four channel SMVR back to factory settings. Here is the front view of the 16 channel SMVR. On the most left hand side is the power button. Uh, next to it, you can see five indicators, uh, which is a uh, ready indicator, uh, the HDD status indicator, um, the HDD fail indicator, and the WAN and LAN indicators. The rear view of 16 channel SMVR. On the left hand side, you can see the speaker output, uh, the headphone output. The microphone input is invalid. Uh, you can use VGA output uh, or HDMI output. Um, there's WAN port, LAN port, and four USB ports. Uh, there's also a button for to load default. 
uh, going into detail for the 16 channel SNVR, uh, their uh, VGA and HDMI outputs, and you can install up to four hard disk um, on the 16 channel SNVR. So the max capacity would be 16 terabytes. You can use GV joystick V2 for the PDZ cameras. There are two gigabit ports, uh, one for LAN, another for WAN, um, no PoE functions. Um, the, the four USB ports you can perform firmware upgrades, uh, import or export settings. You can save snapshots, um, export the footage to AVI files, or you can use them for USB keyboard and mouse. Uh, there's also a low default button on the back. Um, another thing is uh, the 16 channel SMVR can be rack mountable. There's a bundle package for the 4 channel SMVR. Uh, the package consists of a 4 port PoE switch, a 4 target cameras, and a 4 channel SMVR. The target cameras you can pick from a box type bullet type or dome type. Here are some restrictions of the functionality of SMVR. Uh, first, there is no PSIA, RTSP, or OnVIF support. Um, second, it doesn't do video analytics. Um, third, there is no post support. And fourth, um, no I.O. support since uh, there are no hardware I.O. ports on the SMVR. And the last one, uh, no IFS driver, so you cannot take the hard disk and play back the footage on a Windows PC. Here are some devices not supported in SMVR, um, for example, BX110, B0110, MFD110, FE110, uh, PT110D, PTZ10D, um, SD10, or SD200. Um, these cameras are mostly deprecated, so they are not supported. And all fisheye cameras are not supported in SMVR. Um, the other devices is compact DVR and video servers are not supported in SMVR. Now on to the features of 4 channel SMVR. Um, it's max 4 channels for the 4 channel SMVR of course. Um, only support GeoVision IP cameras. Um, no video servers or compact DVR. The max resolution is 2 megapixels. The footage is recorded in GeoVision H264 format. Uh, the cameras need to be dual streaming, so there will be less burden on the SMVR. You can use web browsers for remote viewing. Um, it supports up to 9 languages. Uh, the total remote per channel connection for the 4 channel SMVR is 10. The feature of 16 channel SMVR, uh, of course, it supports max 16 channels. Uh, only GV IP cameras support it, so no video server or compact DVR. Uh, the max resolution is also 2 megapixels. The footage is recorded in H.264 format. Cameras needs to be dual streaming, so there will be less burden. There is a one-way audio, just like the four channel. Um, you can use a web browser to remote view. Uh, support nine languages as well. Uh, for sixteen channel SMVR, the total remote per channel connection is thirty-four. Here are the comparison chart of four channel and sixteen channel SMVR. The number of IP cameras for 4 channel is 4. Uh, for 16 channel is 16 cameras. Uh, they don't do fish ID warp. And post and video analytics is not supported. Um, you can add PDZ cameras to both of these models and they can operate with uh, GV joystick V2. Uh, for I.O. functions, uh, since they don't have hardware I.O. ports, so I.O. is not supported. For 4 channel and 16 channel SMVR, they all support one-way audio, so you can have audio on the 4 and 16 channel SMVR. 
for remote viewing uh, you can use web browsers or you can use our GVI mobile app uh, on iOS devices or Android platforms continuing with the chart uh, both 4 channel and 16 channel SMVR have HDD status uh, they also support NTP which is network time protocol or daylight saving time uh, for the DDNS function uh, you can only use GeoVision DDNS uh, it's free uh, you can register at the URL mentioned in the chart for email notifications it's mainly for HDD not recording uh, in case when you forget your password you can also use email notification to retrieve your password uh, for the 4 channel and the 16 channel SMVR they all support on screen keyboard the live demo section which we will present you in a separate video uh, we will go through the hardware design of 4 channel and 16 channel SMVRs uh, we will show you their user interface and features uh, especially how to add the IP camera to SMVR we will also play back the video footage and then export it as AVI files onto the USB flash drives now on to the FAQ section what would happen if SMVR's lithium battery runs out? The time in SMVR will reset back to year 2010. In this case, uh, you will need to replace the batteries. For 4 channel SMVR, the battery is CR1220. For 16 channel SMVR, the battery is CR2032. Lastly, the appendix. When GVI mobile app connects to SMVR, what functions can we expect? Uh, the first one is live view. You can see watch the live view. Uh, second one is dual streaming. Um, third one is PIP, picture in picture. Um, the fourth one is snapshot. Uh, if you want to do snapshot on live video, um, there is no audio in GVI, uh, no PDZ. Uh, in GVAC when connected to SMVR or no IOs since IO is not supported on SMVR um, currently you cannot play back the SMVR footage in GVAC mobile app alright I think this is all for this video tutorial uh, for more detailed information you can go to our GeoVision website www.geovision.com.tw uh, if you want to email us, our email address is support at geovision.com.tw uh, We thank you for joining us and we hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Uh, until next time, I'm Stephen.